All right, folks, this is a Balfang UV-17R+. Plus. It was sent to me free of charge from Radio Oddity in exchange for testing and evaluation and video reviews. So here we are. If you're the type of person that is easily triggered by sponsored YouTube stuff, it's best you go watch some cat videos. All right, let's turn this baby on and talk a little bit about our test setup. So we have... We can hear... There we go, we're in frequency mode. So we have our radio connected to the Nisei SWR and power meter. We have our range set to 15 watts. And then we have our function set to power, which is all the way over on this side. And then we're feeding this signal into an MFJ dry dummy load because we're doing testing. Let's take a quick look at the spec that I could find that shows the expected output of this radio. All right, so here's really the only thing I could find regarding the power output of this radio, and it's right here, 5 watts. I'll have a link below. You can check it out. I took a look at the manual, and I didn't see anything else. So we're going to go with the assumption that that is the high power setting, 5 watts. Okay, here we are in VFO mode, and we are on high power, and as we saw, that's supposed to be 5 watts. And when I key up, you can see on the meter, it's just slightly above high watts, which is pretty cool. So let me go over here and hit the menu button. And then I believe if I hit number two, that will take me to my text power. And then if I go ahead and hit this button and then I hit this button, it takes me down to low. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit this button to exit. And now you can see the L in the top part of the screen. So let's go ahead and key up. And it looks like we're just slightly over two watts. Now, I did not see anywhere listed for what the expected power output of this radio was on low, but that seems like it makes sense. All right, let's go and try in the 440 band. Four, three, two, one, zero, zero. All right, and we are on low power, so let's go ahead and key up and see what we see. And we're right around three watts. Now, it's not atypical for us to see higher output on 70 centimeters than it is two meters. Why that's the case, I've got no idea, but it happens. Menu. Let's go back into our menu. Let's go back to power settings. Let's hit the menu button again and then go up to high. And I'm going to hit the menu button to save that. And then I'm going to exit. Now we have the H. And we're just above five watts. So from a power test standpoint, this radio does do what it's advertised to do. I'll have links below where you can check it out, but I'm not advocating anybody buy this radio yet because there's more testing to do. We have only simply tested the power output. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, or recommendations, go ahead and post them below, and I'll do my best to respond.